Hello, everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning to my sugar bears across the pond and across the land. I am Leo Brown, here again with a little something different. Now, before I get into it, let me say thank you to all of you who are watching, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you can, please make sure to hit the thumbs up on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. It really does help. It motivates me. It lets the algorithm and YouTube know that you like my work. And I really enjoy having dialogue with you guys. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are not new here, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for coming. It really means a lot. Now, excuse me, if you would like a reading, if you would like a reading or a life coaching session with me, you can log on to my website, which is psychicleo.com. That's psychicleo.com. Now, I wanted to do something a little different today. As you all know, I am a psychic medium, but I'm also a life coach. And I wanted to introduce a new series that I'm going to start doing called Life Lessons or Leo Lessons. That's what I'm going to call them. And um, I basically just want to talk about things that, you know, are real life situations that we go through, I go through, and kind of give my, you know, give a little coaching advice and you know, my little insight on it, my little twist on things, because you never know, it may help someone. Uh, let's see, I want to get my lighting together first. There we go. There, that's better. There, I looked really shiny for a minute. Okay, <laughs> so with that being said, I want to go into today's Leo lesson, which is let the bitch have it. Okay, now, I know that may sound kind of cruel and crass, but the reason why I say this is because I was watching the Whitney documentary that aired in 2018. And as you know, it's about, it's about Whitney Houston and her life. And in the, in the documentary, she, her mother, and I think her assistant, they're all talking about, you know, the state of music at the time. And, you know, they're like, oh, trends and, you know, you know, that's the whole, that's the infamous Paul Abdul ain't shit um, clip. And in the clip, her mother says, you know, Janet Jackson, let the bitch have it. And so for me, how I looked at that was, you know, even though Miss Houston, her mother was talking about, you know, let Janet do Janet and you do you. But for me, the way I viewed that was you can't convince a person how to, like you can't tell a person how to feel you can't tell a person how to think you can't tell a person what to believe you can't tell a person um what they should know you know what they shouldn't know the only person you can tell that those things to are is yourself you you know so oftentimes in life when we come across people who may not agree with what we believe what we think, the way we think, how we love, who we love, uh, the way we love, you have to, you have to say, let the bitch have it. You know what I mean? Because it's not up to me to convince you that, you know, who I am, what I am, how I am is right. Just know that it's right for me and you do what's right for you, you know, because we live in a world now, unfortunately, where we are bombarded with opinions. We're bombarded with opinions all across the board. Um, and, we're, and we're being told what to think, how to think, what to do, what not to do, what to buy. You know, And I think we've always had it, but I think now, especially with the advent of social media, we're getting it even more. You know what I mean? Like you can go on any social media website, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, it doesn't matter. And everybody has an opinion about something. So that's the one thing I've come to learn, that in life, I'm not here to convince you that what I'm saying is factual or true or honest or real. That's not up to me to, um, how do I say it? It's not up to me to, 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 to make you believe in it. You know what I'm saying? 
that's on you. And if you choose to be willfully ignorant, if you choose to be, um, what's the word? If you choose to be closed-minded, if you choose to be angry or bitter or mad at the world or mad at yourself, that's not my issue. That's your issue. Okay. Now, if, if you come to me and I'm using me as an example, but if you come to me or someone and you ask their help, you ask for their guidance, that's a different story. But all in all, you have to let bitches have it. You have to let them have what they have, because it's like that old saying, what a person eats doesn't make you poop. And it's taken me a long time to learn this lesson, but you know, I'm, I'm learning and unlearning that I am not responsible for how a person feels. I'm not responsible for what a person thinks. I'm not responsible for what a person believes. You have the right to your opinions. You have the right to your feelings. Your, and they are valid. You know what I mean? I don't have to agree with them. And you don't have to agree with mine. But either way, they're valid. So that's the one thing I wanted to bring today to let you know to let my sugar bears know that what you feel, what you think, what you know, um, who you are, how you love, whom you love, it is valid. You know what I mean? And you have to do what works for you. And until next time, if people don't agree with what you are, who you are, where you are in life, as Sissy Houston once said, let the bitch have it. So, that is my Leo lesson for today. I hope this made sense. I hope um, that you've enjoyed this. I know this is short, but I really wanted to bring this to you all. And I really am looking forward to doing more. I plan to talk about more real life issues um, and kind of, you know, um, give you my Leo lessons, what I'm learning. But I now want to hear from you. When you hear the phrase, let the bee have it or let the bitch have it, yes, it sounds crass and crude, but what does it mean to you? Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? We can agree to disagree. It's okay. You know what I mean? That's the point or that's that's one of the reasons why we have forums such as this. We can agree to disagree as long as we keep it civil and it's fair and you're speaking your truth, and I'm speaking mine. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I thank you guys so much for watching, for commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, my sugar bears, I say to you, be learnable, be teachable, love yourself, but most of all, be you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.